Greetings, Elder Blacklight. This video here is directly aimed at the United Snakes of America and the brothers and sisters who call themselves the conscious movement or the conscious community, black conscious, banging on each other. So that means you ain't conscious because you will know that the time is short. You need to be banging on that beast. Y'all always arguing about what the Bible say. And the United States was founded, they say, on the principles of the Bible. And they say the Constitution was founded on that. Now in the year 2021, 20, inflation and interest, which is usury, is out of control. They, they are in trillions and trillions of dollars worth of debt. So we go to Leviticus, and it's going to speak about usury. Now this is the Lord speaking to Moses in Mount Sinai, saying to the children of Israel, about usury. Yet still, when they passed the Federal Reserve Act, I believe it was in 1910, or no, 1913 is when they actually passed it. They outlawed the gold standard and started using Federal Reserve notes and charging interest uh, adding on income tax charging interest on that if you're late on your car payment interest that's usury now this is what Allah God told Moses to tell those people that's in charge of the, of the money system the Jews or any rich person that lends money. Thy brother be waxen poor and fallen in decay with thee. Then thou shalt relieve him. Yea, though he be a stranger or a sojourner, that he may live with thee. Take thou no usury of him or increase, but fear thy God that thy brother may live with thee. Thou shalt relieve him. Yea, though he be a stranger or a sojourner, that he may live with thee. Take thou no usury of him or increase, but fear thy God that thy brother may live with thee. Thou shalt not give him thy money upon usury, nor lend him thy victuals for increase. I am the Lord your God, which brought you forth out of the land of Egypt to give you the land of Canaan and to be your God. Thou shalt not give him thy money upon usury, nor lend him thy victuals for increase. I am the Lord your God, which brought you forth out of the land of Egypt to give you the land of Canaan, and to be your God. And if thy brother that dwelleth by thee be waxen poor, and be sold unto thee, thou shalt not compel him to serve as a bondservant, but as an hired servant, and as a sojourner he shall be with thee, and shall serve thee unto the year of Jubilee. And thou shalt not compel him to serve as a bondservant, but as an hired servant, and as a sojourner he shall be with thee, and shall serve thee unto the year of Jubilee. And then shall he depart from thee, both he and his children with him, and shall return unto his own family, and unto the possession of his fathers shall he return. You see that? For they are my servants, which I brought forth out of the land of Egypt. They shall not be sold as bondmen. Thou shalt... Mr. President of the General Assembly, Excellencies, I'm here to sound the alarm. The world must wake up. 
we are on the edge of an abyss and moving in the wrong direction. Our world has never been more threatened or more divided. We face the greatest cascade of crisis in our lifetimes. The COVID-19 pandemic has supersized the glaring inequalities. The climate crisis is pummeling the planet. Upheaval from Afghanistan to Ethiopia to Yemen and beyond has thwarted peace. A surge of mistrust and misinformation is polarizing people and paralyzing societies. Human rights are under fire and science is under assault. And the economic lifelines for the most vulnerable are coming too little and too late if they come at all. Solidarity is missing in action just when we need it most. Perhaps one image tells the tale of our times. The picture we have seen from some part of the world of COVID-19 vaccines in the garbage. Expired and then used. On the one hand, we see the vaccines developed in record time. A victory of science and human ingenuity. On the other hand, we see their triumph undone by the tragedy of lack of political will, selfishness and mistrust. A surplus in some countries, empty shelves in others. A majority of the wealthy world vaccinated. Over 90% of Africans still waiting for the first dose. This is a moral indictment of the state of our world. It is an obscenity. We pass the science test, but we are getting an F in ethics. We have challenges, but for just a moment, let us celebrate all that we have achieved in the past two years. In record time, humanity has developed multiple viable vaccines for COVID-19. Scientists and researchers from dozens of countries collaborated on a remarkable feat of human ingenuity. And the largest vaccine rollout in the history of mankind is currently underway. While each and to act together. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the clear and urgent choice that we face here at the dawning of what must be a decisive decade for our world. A decade that will quite literally determine our futures. As a global community, we're challenged by urgent and looming crises, wherein lie enormous opportunities if, if we can summon the will and resolve to seize these opportunities. Will we work together to save lives, defeat COVID-19 everywhere, and take the necessary steps to prepare ourselves for the next pandemic, or there will be another one. Wow. Or will we fail to harness the tools at our disposal? Greetings. Feel the black light? The reason why that was the uh, World Assembly at the UN featuring various so-called leaders of the globe. I think I've seen about three brothers in the mix. One a Mexican, a Spanish-speaking brother. The rest of them was Caucasians and the world is in this predicament because you're trying to destroy the original Asiatic black man You're trying to <coughs> mend something that you broke, but in a crooked way. You can't, there's no shortcuts to what you did. 
you gotta reap what you sow. And you gotta recognize the fact that Islam is law. What is Islam? Islam are those who do the will of the first lawyer, the first creator. Gave the law to Moses. Moses did the will of Allah. Those pale Muslims say Adam was a prophet and a Muslim. Adam was the one that broke the law. He, he did not do the will of his maker. Uh, we'll put it like this. He did not do the will of the creator. He did the will of his maker, which was Yaku, but not the will of Allah. See, Allah is second to none. And when you break his instructions, disobey his law, you got to suffer the consequences. And all those that follow Adam the Adamic people and don't repent like all the world leaders you got to suffer the consequences to all those who follow the will of the devil your enemy you better check yourself before you wreck yourself Devil gonna tell Allah, I did not make them come. I just merely made a suggestion, and they came running. Black light.